What do you think of the behaviour of, of Professor Phil Jones in asking colleagues to delete emails and, to del and the destruction of, of publicly funded da data was, was gathered by public funds? I don't know what he asked, what he said. I don't make comments on redacted emails presented to me by people whose values I don't trust. I would have to see the whole thing, so I cannot very well comment. What I can say is that private communications that people have between each other certainly are not, uh, are not uh, public documents. And but, we the, 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 say, but the university has confirmed they are accurate. They, everybody says privately, well, now let me, I agree, we'll, we'll make it short. I'm going to have to shut that off for a second, please. Glad to see you, Badge. Sorry, this, I have a member of the press. I want that to be a professional. If you don't shut that off, I'm going to take it away from you. Sorry, this is, so we are the press. I don't care. Okay, I actually shut it off. If it happens again, take it away from you, you're going out. Is it down in the stage? Thank you very you're much. From, this is okay. unbelievable. No, no, I just wanted this to take you back. After all, it's only some 15 years since a rather different global climate catastrophe was in vogue. There's the ever-present threat of a big freeze. Will a new ice age claim our lands and bury our northern cities? It's buried Manhattan Island before, when great glaciers half a mile thick filled the valley of New York's Hudson River. You do accept that sort of 10, 15 years ago, people were talking about a global cooling, not a global warming. Yeah. People were talking about global cooling uh, 15 years ago, but not everybody. Uh, I was one who was not sure. You say you didn't believe in global cooling, but in your first book you said, I've cited many examples of recent climatic variability and repeated the warnings of several well-known climatologists that a cooling trend has set in, perhaps one akin to the Little Ice Age. Mm -hmm. Well, that was just 14 years ago. Yeah. So. I, I said that because at the time it was true. But you've got to be honest. You've got to tell things the way they are. I don't mind people quoting what I had to say in the 70s. But doesn't all of that add up to saying that you're asking governments to spend billions of dollars on a view which is different from one you held a decade ago? I don't see any problem in saying that people learn. I'm not embarrassed about the view I had a decade ago. You should remember that when I was going to graduate school, it was gospel that the Ice Age was about to start. And to tell the truth, I had trouble warming up to that one, too. So this is not the first. It is certainly the loudest of the, of the climate apocalypses, but it is not the first. There may be many reasons why we might want to believe in an apocalypse, but for the scientists involved, some of them are very straightforward. It's easier to get funding if, if you can show some evidence for impending climate disasters. Uh, in the late 1970s, of course, it was the, uh, the coming ice age and now it's the coming global warming. Who knows what it'll be 10 years from now. Uh, but sure, uh, science benefits from, from some scary scenarios.